Are you looking for an easy to use science curriculum that inspires wonder and curiosity in your elementary age students? Well, Apologia's Young Explorer series may be just what you're looking for. If you're a longtime blog reader or if you followed me here on YouTube, you know that our family prefers to go textbook free whenever possible, especially when it comes to studying history and science in those younger grades. So it might surprise you to learn that we actually own at least six books in the Exploring Creation Young Explorer series from Apologia. And my kids love reading them as part of our science studies. Now these are textbooks that don't really feel like textbooks and they fit in perfectly with our wonder focused approach to those early years of science learning. So when I had an opportunity to review the new earth science curriculum from Apologia, I definitely wanted to say yes. If you are looking for an earth science homeschool curriculum that emphasizes hands-on learning, notebooking, and narration, and that's not going to require a ton of teacher prep, then you'll want to stick around and listen as I give you a little flip through and uh, a glimpse into what you can expect with the Apologia Exploring Creation with Earth Science curriculum. You may be wondering what topics are covered in the Apologia Earth Science curriculum. There are 14 lessons and lesson one actually begins with the observable universe. So it's really talking about Earth's place in space. And then each of the following chapters kind of move on from there, uh, thinking about mapping and uh, water and soil and climate cycles of life and even then at the very end talking about um, God in creation and how science uh, is studying creation not the creator so you sort of get the big picture on both ends with uh, details in the middle now you may be wondering how long will it take to complete exploring creation with earth science and actually one of the things i love about apologia's elementary homeschool science books is their flexibility so you can read the textbook aloud and just just discuss it using the included narration questions or your children can read the book on their own and complete the nature journal pages uh, the included recommended schedule that is laid out for you in the beginning of the notebooking journal actually takes all the guesswork out for you. You can just don't even have to do any extra planning, Mama. It's all here for you. So it divides um, each week, a two day a week schedule. It gives the pages in the textbook to complete, the pages in the notebooking journal to complete. And with that schedule, uh, one textbook so the earth science textbook would last your entire year i will say in our family with other texts in this series sometimes we've wanted to go through a little bit more quickly and so we have completed one textbook in a semester so if you didn't want to go quite so deep and do all of the accompanying activities and change topics a little more frequently that would certainly be an option So I mentioned here in the notebooking journal how it gives you the schedule. So you may be wondering, all right, is the notebooking journal necessary other than this handy dandy schedule? And I would say that depends. If you are wanting to put in a little bit more work yourself, you can just buy the textbook. It includes discussion questions, it includes activities and things like that. But you're gonna have to gather all of that and kind of facilitate that work on your own. The great thing about the notebooking journals is you have coloring pages that kids can do while you're reading or on their own. Um, the what do you remember kind of those those narration questions or an opportunity to to journal what they've learned. It's all in one book. Um, you have crossword puzzles and word searches. You have great uh, lift the flat books and little mini books you can create and everything is made for you. So super simple, no extra work for mom, no teacher prep. 
The one caveat I would say is I've heard some people say this feels overwhelming to them because there's so many things in the notebooking journal. And you have to remember that it's specifically actually designed for you to choose what's going to work best for your family. You are not supposed to be completing all of the activities. They say that explicitly in the notebooking journal. Do not make your children (laughs) do everything in the activity book. You are going to get to go through and kind of figure out where your own priorities as a family are, you know, how even like fine motor skills, depending on the age of your student, uh, if you're going to want to require a lot of writing or not. Another thing I really love about uh, this homeschool earth science curriculum is that it would be easy to use with multiple grades, multiple ages. If you're like me, you have many children, you have limited time and limited homeschool curriculum budget. So to know that you can get one textbook and use that with multiple ages is really a benefit that you're gonna receive from this curriculum. So um, even in the past, what I've done is I've used the science textbook as part of our morning time read aloud. And then depending on the ages of the children, they've kind of moved on and done work that's age appropriate later in the day. If you want to learn more about Apologia exploring creation with earth science, see some pictures uh, and sample pages from inside the textbook and enter the giveaway to get your own copy of Exploring Creation with Earth Science, then head over to humilityanddoxology.com where I have a blog post up for you with links to everything we've talked about here. And definitely comment there or comment below in this video if you have any questions. And if I don't know the answer, I will find someone who does. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single one of the videos from humilityanddoxology.com.